Okay, so what we got going on here is a beautiful 14 Denali uh, Yukon. And we ordered a kit from Texas Speed. This is what it looked like underneath. See, on this one, it's not too bad. The rust is not too bad. It's just where some of the material, where GM does the factory coating, but it's not through anywhere. So you know what I should do? I should do a, uh, I should do the fluid film on this. I should spray the fluid film, but it's really nice under here, actually. The frame's not rotted out or anything like that. Engine overall is pretty clean for the most part. Uh, we got the oil pan out today. Got the front differential and stuff out today. When you do the DOD delete, you got an oil pressure regulator that goes in the oil pan. Come on now. Goes right here in the oil pan. But how it actually sits in there is this oil deflection hat goes on first. And then this goes down in the middle of it. Like that. And then when it releases, when the oil pressure uh, regulator releases and it sprays the fluid out of the side or the oil out the side, it goes down into the pan. Previous models had oil consumption problems. So what would happen is this wasn't there anymore. It would just be the oil pressure regulator like this. And when it, when it would spray out of the ports on the side, it would spray up into the bottom of It would spray up into the bottom of the rotating engine. So uh, what we're gonna do while we're here as well, these GMs are notorious for these, uh, the pickup tubes for the oil pump leaking. So we're gonna go ahead and put a new O-ring while we're here as well. Clean out the pan, uh, front timing gasket, cam gasket, new camshaft, non-DOD camshaft, but the same spec. Uh, camshaft that came in here so there's no like crazy tuning involved all new lifters and stuff Texas Speed sent this to us there's a couple pieces they were missing they were missing the block off plug for the pan um, they send the crank seal water pump gaskets front timing cover gasket all the new lifter trays uh, this is the bolt hardware for uh, cylinder head, crankshaft bolt, exhaust manifold bolts, uh, the camshaft retainer plate. This in here is the, the valley manifold. This is the new one uh, without the oil supply passages. This is, what did they call this? It was the... cam bolt it's the cam bolt that goes in the center of it when it, it holds everything together I think it helps hold everything together or it's like a it goes right into the center of the camshaft I believe I believe right here and then this over here is all the lifters the new lifters, the non-DOD lifters. And then I send the computer off to, I think it's Garrett Tuning. And he tunes the DOD out of it. And then sends it back. A couple hundred bucks. Get the customer back on the road. So, this is one of the projects we're working on right now here at the shop. You guys are interested in getting something like this done you want that afm dod dod delete done on yours we can definitely get the job done come check us out really clean for a for a midwest salt belt truck normally right in here is where they rot out right here in the frame they rot out but on this truck it doesn't have any of that this over here a little bit but it's not rotted out yet it's not through anywhere, like you can't push through the frame. If it was me, I'd do the fluid film spray. i do the aceite spray. And I would, fr I would spray the frame down with the, the black oil just to protect it. But I charge $250 for that, but I coat everything underneath with oil, the protective oil. Wool wax, I should say. But yeah, that's the update. And then tomorrow, we'll be pulling... Cylinder heads off, water pump assembly and stuff off. 
front of the engine and stuff off. We'll be down to the camshaft tomorrow. Little update on my transmission. Yeah, I made a mess today. I was in a hurry. I had to pull this thing apart, apart four times today. Um, I was able to go ahead and get the rest of the uh, the front pump assembly and stuff in, the return spring and stuff in, uh, the pressure plate and stuff in. We got servos and stuff installed today. Uh, accumulators installed today. Now what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to build the valve body for this thing and then I should be done with this transmission tomorrow and be ready to go into the Grand Marquis. And then I can pull the engine over here. And I can pull this engine, start pulling everything apart, pull the timing cover and stuff off, start getting the new billet timing gear set and stuff in there. And start working the heads, putting the pistons and everything in, doing all that good stuff next. So that's the update of the shop. Just got these back from the machine. Yeah, for this uh, 3 3 Kia Cadenza. Gotta, I gotta finish building that engine. Now that I got all the parts for it, I'm gonna start building it. A lot of random stuff. That's a charging system issue there. This is brakes and stuff all the way around on the Maserati, even though we call it a Mazda. On the side, they call it a Maserati if you look on the side. This is a BMW 5 series of some sort. What is it? 5. This is 535i. It's a N55. N55. It came... Hey, what, what was the story with this? It came here... Oh, it came here... Oil in the coolant system. Oil in the, oil in the coolant system. Yes. And you think I'm overcharging him? He thought we were overcharging him, so he took the vehicle somewhere else, and they installed the engine, but... Still don't fix the problem. Didn't fix the problem. What was the, the the cooling system? They were literally cleaning out the tubes and stuff, like the radiator tubes, any of the coolant tubes, and it was pushing out like black Chihuahua paste putty, like a like a Chihuahua shit in the coolant tubes, and and you'd like pushing it out, and it was like <laughs> pushing all the material and oil and debris and stuff that was built up and sludge in the coolant in the. So we replaced the cooler and started putting all new lines and stuff in it because they were all swollen. And now it's actually got heat and stuff like that and it's starting to work better and the coolant's not mixing with the oil. So he thought we were overcharging, but what, what actually ended up happening is he went to somebody else, replaced the engine, spent more money, didn't fix the problem because that wasn't the issue. This is the issue. Anyhow, that's how it goes, man. People think that you're trying to one-up them and you're really not. You're looking out for them. Now he's wasted all this money and he could have just paid us to fix it to begin with. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. Y'all be blessed. Take care. Have a great day. Look how beautiful that is. No rust, no nothing. Midwest Yukon. Y'all jealous? And it's going to be a DOD deleted. Y'all jealous?